Did you know that Chopper was originally meant to have a completely different design and role in the Straw Hats crew? How about that one small detail that occurred after Chopper got injured and Hilaluk helped him? Well, I found the 36 most secret and interesting details you probably never knew about Tony Tony Chopper. Like, did you know that Chopper was actually the first of the four Straw Hat members to be part of another pirate crew besides the Straw Hats? That's because he was technically part of the Foxy Pirates for a short period of time. The other three Straw Hats that were part of another crew were Jinbei, that was part of the Sun Pirates, the Whitebeard Pirates, and the Big Mom Pirates, Brooke, that was part of the Rumbar Pirates, and Nico Robin, that was a Baroque agent. Well, if we count the Usopp Pirates as well, then this could technically make Chopper the second of the five Straw Hats with this trait. But you see, that record was not the only one. That's because Chopper joined the Straw Hats at the age of 15 years old, making him the youngest member of the crew. The second youngest member is Vivi at 16 years old. Well, if you don't consider Vivi a Straw Hat because she did not set sail with them yet, then the two youngest members are Usopp at 17 17 years old, just a few weeks younger than Luffy, that was also 17. But you see, the most depressing fact about Chopper's age is that reindeers typically live between 15 and 18 Whoa. years. Currently, Chopper is 17. So just the thought of losing Chopper kind of gives me nightmares. I'm pretty sure that if Chopper dies, many fans will take the first plane to Japan in order to confront Oda. And to be honest, I would probably be among those fans as well. But being completely fair though, I don't think that Oda would sacrifice Chopper. That's because he considers him a vital character in the series. When creating Chopper, Oda stated that he wanted a mascot who was both cute and fearless, and I think he achieved that 100%. Chopper is so loved by the fan base that he is referenced in other manga as well besides One Piece. For example, did you know that Hirohiko Araki, aka the mangaka of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, included Chopper in his manga? As we can see in this manga panel from JoJo Part 8, Chopper is used as a figure inside one of the character's cars. Not only that, but Luffy is there as well. Well, given that everything nowadays is a JoJo reference, I guess this gives the right for JoJo to give some references to other manga as well. But Chopper's references in other anime do not end there. As you can see, Chopper was also featured in an episode of Omaru-chan as a small, cute figure. Since we mentioned One Piece references, well, how could Gintama resist the temptation to feature One Piece characters, and specifically Chopper, in their own anime? In this one occasion, for example, Gintoki was seen wearing Chopper's characteristic hat. Even though that was pretty cool, Gintama did not stop there, as in another episode, this character named Elizabeth wore Chopper's hat as well. Speaking of Chopper's hat, after the time skip, Chopper's hat had a design change. Many fans did not like the fact that Chopper abandoned his original hat. However, that's actually not true. When asked about it in an SBS, Oda explained that Chopper simply modified his hat in order to feature a helmet in it as well, and did not really change it. Oda also provided this sketch in order to explain the design modification. And listen, I know Chopper's design changed throughout the years. However, one specific thing remained the same since the beginning. Do you see this metal on Chopper's left anchor? This was what Dr. Hilaluk used to fix Chopper's broken antler when Chopper broke it trying to find the Amiudaku mushroom. Even though many years passed, and his antler is healed by now. Chopper still refuses to throw away this metal item, as he considers it a memento from Hilaluk. But something that's even more secret than Chopper's broken antler is Chopper's backstory inspiration. As we know, Chopper's real family cast him aside because of his blue nose. That was a reference to the Christmas tale of Rudolph the Reindeer, in which his family abandons him because of his red nose. But this next fact made me wonder how Chopper will end up by the end of the series. You see, initially Chopper was basically abusing performance-enhancing drugs in the form of Rumble Balls. Yeah, Chopper's basically a steroid user. But in recent manga chapters, we could see that Chopper evolved even beyond that, as he gave Beppo a modified version of the Rumble Ball that allowed Beppo to go into his Sulong form without the presence of Moonlight. In simpler words, he went from a drug user to a drug dealer. To be fair, Chopper is a pirate, but I never expected him to become Walter White 2.0. Say my name. You're so good. Goddamn right. Even though Chopper became a meme for his nickname, aka Emergency Food, he also became a meme for his very low bounties. He actually has the lowest bounty poster in all of One Piece, a mere 50 berries. Using real-world currencies, this would translate to around one dollar. Even though many people thought this happened because the world government considered him just a pet, there is another possible reason for that. Imagine if the world government put a high bounty on Chopper. Everyone would try and trick the world government for money. Everyone would come with a random tanuki or small reindeer to give to world government in order to try and claim some easy money. This would waste the time of the world government, and it would also pose a danger of actually getting tricked eventually. As in the end, the world government could end up buying a random pet for a ridiculous amount of money, thinking they actually got Chopper. We all know that Chopper is probably among the cutest and most innocent characters in One Piece. However, Chopper used to have a completely different design, and it's honestly hilarious. This is Chopper's early concept, in which he was a seven-foot-tall, middle-aged human reindeer hybrid that was also smoking regularly, which, as you can imagine, does not even remotely remind 
remind us of the cute little pet that could not even get much higher. The role of the cute Straw Hat's companion was occupied by this character, which, quite honestly, looks like a mirror image of Chiaotzu from the Dragon Ball series. After all, Oda stated that Dragon Ball was the main reason he created One Piece in the first place. Well, if that design made it to the final cut, then the sure thing is that Chopper's voice actor would be different, as I can't see this cute little voice on a seven-foot-tall smoker. What do you want? Since we mentioned Chopper's voice actor, did you know that he shares the same Japanese voice actor with Pikachu from Pokemon and young Konohomaru from Naruto? His English voice actor, on the other hand, is also the voice of Broly from Dragon Ball and Minata from My Hero Academia. When it comes to Chopper being a reindeer, did you know that due to his sharp nose, he can recognize the straw hats based on their smells? According to an SBS, Luffy smells like meat, Zoro smells like steel, Nami smells like oranges and money, Usopp smells like gunpowder, Sanji smells like cigarettes and seafood, Nico Robin smells like a flower, Frankie smells like coke, Brooke smells like tea, and finally, Jinbei smells like the sea. However, when asked about how Chopper smells, Oda did not give an answer, as Chopper cannot tell what he himself smells like. In another SBS, Oda was asked how the Straw Hats would be as a family. It was stated that Nico Robin would be the mother, and Chopper would be the youngest son. Zoro, on the other hand, would be the oldest son. Which, if you ask me, fits the dynamic of the characters perfectly. That's because Chopper literally sees Zoro as the strong brother he can always count on. On the other hand, Chopper sees Robin as something close to a mother figure. After all, they do share a very special relationship between them. That's evidenced by the fact that Robin keeps candy with her at all times, because she knows that it's Chopper's favorite snack. Not only that, but Robin and Chopper shower together. So yeah, they're pretty close. But don't worry, Chopper's not like Sanji, as it's already been confirmed that Chopper does not feel sexually attracted to humans. A cool detail about that is the fact that in the One Piece game, Pirate Warriors 3, Chopper is completely immune to Boa Hancock's abilities. Someone might ask, wait a minute, if that's the case, then why did Chopper almost pass out when Nami used her happiness punch back in Alabasta? You see, Oda addressed this question and replied that Chopper just went with the flow and followed the rest of the people that almost passed out. Speaking of Chopper imitating the Straw Hats, it was stated that Chopper's personality is derived by mixing traits of Luffy and Usopp. From Luffy, he took the trait of being easily impressed and fooled, and from Usopp, he took the trait of being a coward. Let's talk about Chopper's future. Oda drew these designs for how Chopper will look at the age of 40 and 60. Not only that, he also included a what if something went wrong scenario, and hence drew Chopper like this. In the good timeline, at age 40, Chopper says, leave it to me, implying that he is confident to cure the given disease. But at age 60, he says, here, take this, implying that Chopper already achieved his dream and is now able to cure every disease. On the bad timeline, however, at age 40, he says, Straw Hats, don't you dare mention that name again. And at age 60, he is basically a monster that demands sacrifices. Another time, Oda drew this for Chopper as part of a gender bend request. Speaking of alternate designs, did you know that Chopper was drawn by other mangakas as well as part of One Piece's 10th anniversary celebration? This is Chopper as drawn by the author of D. Grayman. Here is Chopper as drawn by the author of Mr. Full Swing. And this is Chopper as drawn by the author of Sexy Commando Gaiden. When it comes to real life, Oda stated that Chopper would be from Canada, which is quite understandable. But what kind of threw me off guard was his real life job, as Oda stated that Chopper would be a great school teacher. Okay, so why not, you know, a doctor? When it comes to fears, we know that Chopper is surely not the bravest character. However, it was never specifically stated what his number one fear is. But you see, I would be willing to bet that Chopper's worst nightmare is hearing Luffy saying that he is hungry and they ran out of meat. I mean, it may be a joke, but Luffy almost ate Chopper more than once so far. So if I were Chopper, you can be sure I would not feel so safe around Luffy. Chopper knows what it takes to be healthy. After all, he is a doctor. That's why he makes sure to always get a full 10 hours of sleep every day from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m., making him the straw hat that sleeps by far the most. When it comes to hygiene, he does not follow the example of his Captain Luffy and bathes only once a week. That's because Chopper bathes once every three days. I guess Luffy smelling like meat is understandable. I mean, damn, having a bath once a week is wild. Since we mentioned Luffy, we all know that he likes to ask everyone he sees to join his crew. I mean, we saw Luffy asking, among others, Gaimon to join, even though he is stacked inside a chest, Kinemon's legs, simply because he liked the idea of funny legs running around, a zombie unicorn, and a zombie tree. But even like that, Chopper was the only member of the crew that Luffy was not the first to invite. That's because the first invitation came from Nami instead. Anime transformations are surely epic, but when it comes to the case of Chopper, he grows by a factor of 16 times when he goes from his base form to his monster point. That's because he goes from 90 centimeters to around 15 meters tall while in monster point. Brooke being a rock star means that he regularly provided his fans with autographs. But did you know that Chopper has his own autograph as well? As confirmed by Oda in an SBS, this is Chopper's autograph. Even though Chopper is one of the fan favorites, the last global popularity polls ranked him in the 16th position for the most popular One Piece character. But even like that, Chopper still has his own spin-off manga series called Chopper Man. Before the epic reveal of Gear 5 and Luffy's Awakening, Chopper was considered to be the only Zoan-type Devil Fruit user in the
the Straw Hat crew. Well, Luffy took that record away from him, but a record that cannot be taken by Luffy is the place of his birth. That's because Chopper is the only Straw Hat that was born inside the Grand Line. Well, knowing Oda and the plot twists he pulls, even this record might not be safe by the end of the series. Chopper so far saved the lives of countless people through his medical expertise. However, it was stated that despite the fact that neither him or Trafalgar Guard Law received formal medical school education, their skills greatly outmatched even graduates of prestigious medical schools. His birthday is on December 24th, aka on Christmas Eve, which reflects the cold climate he comes from and the fact that he was originally a reindeer. Back in early One Piece, it was stated that Chopper felt bad for the way he looked, as he thought that he resembled a monster. However, after meeting Luffy, Chopper stopped caring about that. He even stated the following, I wanted to look like a human because I wanted friends. Now I want to become a monster who was helpful to Luffy. A question many One Piece fans have been wondering about is whether Chopper's antlers are part of his head or actually his hat. As we saw Chopper's hat, along with his antlers being detached from his body when Chopper was shocked. When asked about it, however, Oda just said to not worry about it, as this basically was just a funny way to express emotion. Well, to this, I will also add that we did see Chopper without a hat a few times, and I gotta say, I'm not sure if this picture is ultra cute or ultra cursed. When Chopper went into arm point in the manga, the panels he was drawn with did not show his feet. As a result, when Toby Animation had to animate these panels, they gave Chopper hooves for feet. Oda later revealed that Chopper canonically has human feet, and hence, this was changed in future episodes. Chopper so far is the only pure animal we know that consumed a devil fruit. Most of the times, the opposite happens, as we see humans consuming Zoan devil fruits to acquire the power of animals. Speaking of his devil fruit, many theories claim that his devil fruit is the Amiodake mushroom after all. His devil fruit greatly resembles a mushroom, plus it could have, in a way, cured Chopper that was searching for friends. The devil fruit turned him into part human, so that he could find friends that care about him. When Chopper awakens his devil fruit, he will truly be able to cure all diseases. However, the Amiodake mushroom being Chopper's devil fruit is just a theory, and hence, still remains a mystery. But you see, this is not the only mystery that Oda hides from us. In this video, we present 30 of the most important mysteries yet to be solved in one piece. Go on, check it out!